one of the most you know commonly used thermometer is that an electrical resistance thermometer now as we studied in the previous slides that the thermometric property is the resistance so in this resistance thermometer the change in resistance of a metal wire now this metal wire is usually made up of platinum okay the change in resistance uh, of this metal wire which is made up of platinum uh, due to its change in temperature is the basic thermometric property okay now <coughs> this wire of made of platinum is incorporated in a Wheatstone bridge so what you see on the right hand side of your screen is basically a Wheatstone bridge in this Wheatstone bridge this is the platinum wire that we are talking about okay now this electrical resistance thermometer or I would say platinum uh, metal wire resistance thermometer is quite uh, you know accurate and a very sensitive thermometer so it has high ac accuracy and uh, sensitivity sensitivity okay so normally this kind of a thermometer is used for calibration purposes so when we have to calibrate uh, a thermometer we make use of an electrical uh, resistance thermometer okay now the quadratic equation which is used to calculate the resistance or to define the resistance as a function of temperature is this r is equal to r naught into 1 plus 80 plus b t square okay now r is the resistance at any temperature that is t okay and r naught is the resistance at 0 degree celsius and a and b are nothing but constants whose values have to be found out so this is an equation uh, which is used to find out the resistance at any uh, temperature in a wheatstone bridge uh, thermometer okay now moving ahead let's look at a simple example now in this example this example is basically uh, of a resistance thermometer which says that a platinum resistance thermometer has a resistance of 2.8 ohms at 0 degree Celsius this means R naught is equal to 2.8 ohms and 3.8 ohms at 100 degrees Celsius this means R hundred is equal to 3.8 ohms we need to find the temperature at which the resistance is 5.8 ohms okay now let us say that the relation between resistance at any temperature and temperature is R naught into 1 plus alpha t okay now where alpha is a constant where we have rearranged a t and b t square to find out alpha so if I go back to the previous slide mm, I can actually combine these uh, two terms to get R naught into 1 plus alpha into T where alpha is a constant where we have to find the value of the uh, alpha now going back to the question this is the uh, relation between the temperature uh, the resistance at any temperature and 
the temperature itself so if i would you know if i were to put the values in this equation r100 is equal to r0 into 1 plus alpha into t now t is 100 degrees celsius i would put it as 100 now we know the value of r100 which is 3.8 and this value is given to be 2.8 into 1 plus 100 alpha now if i were if i would rearrange it now 3.8 by 2.8 minus 1 okay and uh, divided by 100 would give you the value of alpha now from this the value of alpha comes out to be 0.357 into 10 to power minus 2 okay now I need to find out the temperature at which R T is 5.8 ohms okay so let us say 5.8 is equal to 2.8 into 1 plus 0.357 that is the value of alpha into t now in this equation the unknown is the temperature so if we were to rearrange it i would get the equation as 5.8 by 2.8 minus 1 okay uh, this would come down 0.357 this thing would go into the numerator and would become 100 so the value of the temperature would come out to be 300 degree celsius ok so this is how you would find out or you would solve the uh, questions uh, no, linked to resistance change and temperature change ok so I hope this uh, lecture was of quite helpful in understanding the uh, thermometric property concept and the theorem law of thermodynamics now in the next lecture we would lay the foundation of going on to first law of thermodynamics that we would study about uh, work and heat uh, and the relation between them and then we would go on to study the first law of thermodynamics till then have a nice have a nice time bye, -bye.